you started off solo, mm -hmm. then you were part of G Unit Records at mm -hmm. one point mm -hmm. with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. How, what was the transition when you when that situation ended and you got with Buster? Like, how did that take place? Can you reflect back and take yeah. me like how that happened? Um. Okay. So basically, in 2011, when I signed. A, it was a single deal that I did with Fifth, and um, you know that you know that deal was over as soon as I put the record out and everything like that. Everything was over. Um, you know, we all still cool and shit like that, so that's cool. And then um, after that, I just stayed on my grind, man. Stayed grinding, grinding, and I put out the touchdown record. Had that popping in, you know, in L.A. and everything, you know, just in the region. And um, the last year of the B BT Awards last year in L.A., um, I was performing in Playhouse, and <clears throat> that's, that's like I performed it like three, four times. And like, you know, the crowd was going crazy and shit like that. And Bus just happened to be there. So he pulled me to the side, asked me who I'm signed to. I'm like, nobody. Um, chopped it up with the, st I went to, went to the studio. Maybe like, he invited me to the studio like <clears throat> a couple days later. Went there and we chopped it up. Started talking and, you know, made the business happen. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, a year later, Coco. Yeah. What? is the biggest thing maybe you picked up or you learned from being around Buster Rhymes? Um, just having, you know, everything happen, like, you know, just knowing that, you know, timing is everything in this, you know, in this industry, you know what I'm saying? And everything has to happen, you know what I mean, at a certain time and, and you know, you can't really like, you can't really, you can't really slack off like that, you know what I'm saying? And kick back really, you know, like you would want to. You know what I'm saying? So everything got to be you gotta, on the go. You got to keep on moving. So, yeah, I definitely learned something from that. Did that worry you? Because um, you had the the situation with 50. So that's a rapper with a label. Mm -hmm. And Buster's a rapper with a label. Did yeah, that? It, it did at first. At first, I was just like, okay. Because I was with Fifth, and I was, I'm like, damn, okay, I was signed to a rapper. But then I'm like, damn, I'm like, and Fifth is very successful. So I'm just kind of like, okay, let me figure, let me figure this out. I gotta figure this out. But then at the same time, Fifth is like so busy. You know what I mean? That man is busy. He work hard. So, um, you know, so I was just like, you know, I just prayed about it, man, and I just, and you know, God answered my prayers, and I made the decision, and happened to be the right decision.